Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the bass line for the song Lounge Act by Nirvana. Um, this is one of those songs that's kind of been, people refer to it as kind of a yardstick for how skilled you are at the bass. It's one of those uh, riffs that takes a little bit of skill and knowledge um, and experience to get right because it's kind of fast and it's a little tricky in some of the jumps and stuff. So we're going to take a look at this first riff here. Right? Now that might seem kind of intimidating right off the bat, but it's not too bad. We're going to start off with our first finger. I like to start at the first fret and do a big slide on the E string up to seven. And this is probably one of the more difficult moves in the song is this first one. But once you do it a, a million times, it'll get pretty easy. But your, your fourth finger is going to have to go all the way to the 10th fret. So maybe it's just a good idea to practice that a few times. Right? Because we're going to go slide to 7 with the first finger on E, then to 10. And then our third finger is going to play 9 on A. Right? And that's kind of the first section of the first riff. And I believe that he plays this with a pick. It kind of sounds like there's that pick attack. I'm not much one for using a pick on bass, so I'm going to be playing it with my fingers. But if you find it's a little easier and your left, uh, right hand's having a hard time keeping up, then by all means, try it with a pick with some alternate picking. Uh, I'm going to be teaching it with fingers, though. All right, so we got that move. It's sliding to 7 on E, 10 on E, 9 on A. Then our first finger is going to jump all the way down to 2 on E. So all to, And then we're going to, with our second finger, play 3. So that's pretty easy. Duh, duh, duh. So when we put that all together, it's... Duh, ba, 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 ba. Try it at about that speed. One. Two, ready, and. And we are going to land on that, that third again. So if you want to practice that all together, this is before we do the next big position change. So let's go through that. About that same tempo. So just real slow, I'll play it, and then we'll try it in a tempo. Right, pretty easy. So 7 of E, it's 10, 9A, 2 of E, and then we're back to back and forth from 3 and 2. So we land on 2, and then we have 3, 2, 3. Alright, so let's try this at a relatively easy tempo. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, one, two, ready, and again. All right, so then we're going to slide up to. So we're on one, the first finger here. The tricky part is getting the fourth finger involved because we need it to go on E string, 10, 9, 7, 5. And we really want to do that with 4, 3, 1, 1. If you try to do it with 2, 1, 1, 1, I find that it slows you down too much and you get behind on tempo. It's much easier if you can get your first finger there. So that presents a bit of a a challenge because we're on one here and we got to get our fourth finger so I almost put my fourth finger down immediately after plucking that E string so I'm almost doing a hammer on to the fourth fret so two frets up from where my first finger is right to get that slide 
rather than just sliding at it with the first finger and then having a bunch of position changes. If we do it by getting the fourth finger in there, we just have one position change, right? Rather than one, <laughs> one, two, three, four position changes. So let's just try it from right here and we'll do this movement really slow and I'll get real close so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. I'm here on two, so I just went. Now I gotta slide all the way up to 10 of E. So I'm gonna kind of you know, get my hammer on there with my pinky in the middle of that slide. Okay, so let's try and put those two riffs together. We'll go really, really slow. Uh, this is going to focus mainly on the left hand, and then I'll zoom back so you can see what my right hand is doing. So we're going to start on one of E, slide up to seven, ten, nine on A, all the way big jump with the first finger down to two of E. So once we land on two, it goes three, two, three. Then we kind of do that hammer on slide up to ten. And then we just walk down 10, 9, or sorry, yep, 9, 7, 5. So all together. And I'm not even lifting up my second finger, I'm just hammering it on right there. Whatever's easiest for you so you can get that pinky in there. In my case, I'm just. I'm almost, you know, imperceptible with that hammer on. I kind of demonstrate it very slowly of like a, but if you just want to start the slide on the pinky, if that's easier for you too, whatever's easy enough so you can get that pinky up there, that fourth finger. Cause like I said, if you start with your first finger on 10, you're not going to be fast enough. I mean, and you'll give yourself wrist problems doing that. So all together, kind of at a regular, uh, moderate tempo. Da, ba, ba, ba. One, two, one, two, ready, and. One more time. One, two, ready, and. All right, and then the next movement's really easy. We kind of repeat that phrasing, but with different notes. So same rhythm, different notes. Yeah, same rhythm, but we have some different notes there. So we're gonna start the same place. We just came from five of A. Now we're gonna go up to seven. And instead of going, we're just gonna do this all seven, 10, nine, all on the E string. And we're still gonna go back to two. So the first time through, we involve the A string. This time, it's all on the E string. Then we have the same pattern here. So three, two, three. This time with the pinky, we're gonna slide up to eight instead of 10. And we're gonna do eight, seven, five, two. Sounds a little discordant, but it kind of fits in with the pattern. So let's try that second one. So we've started, we've ended at five for our first phrase. So we're gonna start here at seven. We're gonna go all on the E string. Seven, 10, nine, two, three, two, three. Get the pinky involved. Eight, seven, five, two. Okay. So let's give that one a try at a moderate tempo. Right? Let's try it at that tempo. One, two, one, two, ready, and.
One more time. One, two, ready, and... Okay, so when you feel that you're ready, you can put these two riffs together. I'll do them both together really slow, let you see both my hands so you can see what's going on here. So we're going to start at one because we've got a big slide up to seven. Cool. So that's the main riff. Um, they play that, I want to say once for the intro, and then um, it goes through it two and a half times for the verse. So it feels like it should stop on that second phrase, but it actually stops um, after the first phrase. So yeah, we play this riff two times through for the intro. The first time is just kind of a bass solo. And then the second time the other instruments come in. Then we play it twice through, full through for um, the verse. And then the last time we just repeat the first phrase, which is. And then we move on to what we would call the chorus. Okay, so that's the, the chorus. Little complicated, a lot of um, playing with scales, playing with octaves and string skipping, um, but all in all, not too bad when we break it down. So we're gonna start off with an open E. We've just gone. Uh, do, 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 do. And then we start with an open E. Right back to 5B. So then we have this little box pattern. So it goes open E, 5 of E. Then we play the octave. I like to do it with my fourth finger. So that would be 7 of D. So we go 5 of E, 7 of D. 5 of D, 7 of A, 5 of A. So you see it's kind of like a box between these two frets. So try that a couple times, I'll get a little closer so you can see my fingers. So we're starting on 5 of E, uh, sorry, open E, then 5. Now we go to the octave on D. Got that little box pattern. Right? So once we land here, so then we go 5 of A. Now it's it's kind of a grace note, so you can either do it as a pull-off. I like to just strike the string. So it's 5 of A, open A, then 3 of E. And then once we land on 3 of E, we have a similar box pattern walking up. So 5 of E, 3 of A, 5 of A. So we just start from the beginning real slow. 5 of A, octave and box. Now open A, land on 3 of E, and then we walk up that box pattern again. Now we slide up the pinky, and I like to use the fourth finger here because we're going to have to access the fourth fret on the A string, so having our first finger over it I think helps a lot. 
So from the beginning we had Now we're up on 7 of A. So we go 7 of A twice, then, except with the second finger, 5 of E. And now we're going to walk up the scale. So that's starting on 5 of E, 7 of E, 4 of A, 5 of A. Yeah. All right, so let's integrate that into the pattern, super slow. So remember, we're starting on open E for this. 5 of E, octave, then walk down the box pattern. Open A, 3 of E. Up the box pattern, slide to seven, have two of those, down to five of E. And I should use my second finger because we have to walk up the scale. And as soon as we get to that second finger on five of A, we do open and then five of A again. Then we go to three of E. Open E, three. All right, so let's take it all real slow. Once you get this kind of in muscle memory, you can do it very fast, but learning it takes a little bit of time because we're shifting between all these different shapes and sometimes we're just doing pentatonic, sometimes we're adding in that kind of uh, major note there. All right, so let's start from the beginning. Open E. 5 of E, octave, 7 of D, walk down the box, open A, 3 of E, walk up the box, up to 7 of A, 2 of those, 5 of E, and again I need to use my second finger because we're going to walk up the scale here. Okay, so that's a lot, but take it real slow and I'm sure you can figure it out. We'll do it one more time super slow, then we'll try and start doing it with some uh, rhythm. So open E. Just keep in mind your landmarks here. I like to think of every time that I'm landing somewhere and then doing like a pattern based off of that note, like right here, I'm in kind of this power chord shape, right? That's the first one. Then I get to here. I'm on this this uh, kind of three of E box pattern here. Then I get to this uh, this E up here, and then this is my kind of the one time where I do the major, right? Major walk up. And then I have the open strings at the end. So kind of four parts, one, two, three, four. All right, real slow again, one more time, just so you can get a watch on the fingers. So starting on open E, octave, open A, Let's try it with a little bit of speed now. Yeah, we'll do it at about that speed. One, two, one, two, ready, go.
Yeah, it's kind of hard to do slow. Once you get it fast, it's a little bit easier. It makes a little bit more sense. When you're slowing it down, there's some notes that repeat, um, like the big ones that repeat. Is when you get to that third shape, that uh, kind of major walk-up shape, there's some repeating notes in there. And when you slow it down, it gets a little confusing. But I think when you're doing it fast in context, it all kind of makes sense. So that that was kind of a bear. So don't don't worry too much about that. Just take it really slow. So there's no repeat here. We just walk straight up. Repeat. Repeat again. So yeah, the only time we repeat notes before climbing the scales are in that third, um, that major walk up place where we start on the repeat there on seven of A. And then we immediately we, we repeat the uh, five of E note, the, the A there. Da, 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 right? One, two, one, two. All the other times, we're not repeating, we're moving all the time. Okay, so once we get to the end of that, we just have this little. Just little half step thing here. So it might be helpful to watch my right hand here. So that's kind of how I count it. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So basically six on the first note, five of E. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And then a beat early, we go to the three. So all together, it kind of sounds like this. And then we're right back into that main verse. Cool, there's a little bit of uh, repeats. Listen to the, the recording to get the arrangement right. But those are pretty much all the pieces you need for that song. Short song, but challenging. Definitely a workout for the left hand. And in some places might be a workout for your right hand a little bit. Um, unless you're gonna use a pick. Might be a little bit easier for that right hand. Um, but it's a fun challenge, especially that That part is definitely a challenge and will uh, make you really think in sections and in shapes and hand positions. So good for your brain as well. All right, have fun with this one. Hopefully you can nail it and have no problem with it.